Ooh, a new message. Hey there, Shepard. I'm sorry for what I said back on Horizon. When I lost you two years ago, it tore me up, so this must be Ash. I pray for you every day. I read a lot of Tennyson, thinking about you, just like I did when my dad passed. And then you came back, and it was like my prayers had were answered. But I'm not who I was then, and neither are you. I don't know what's true anymore. Part of me can't believe it's really you. I can't keep going back to that night before I lost. Ah, night. I haven't let myself think about those memories for more than a year now. I wouldn't have expected you to work for Cerberus, but I would know why they sent you to Horizon. I saw how many people were lost, and if anyone can stop the Collectors, you can. But I can't go where you're going. But I can wish you luck. Just stay alive out there, Skipper. I don't know what the future holds, but I can't lose you a second time. Ash, and some poetry. Death closes all, but something e at the end. Some work of noble note may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. This is far better than um, what I got from fucking Caden. That'll be all. Caden nice was really like fucking how disappointed it was in me. Ash is a bit more hopeful. Let's see if we can upgrade any shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Right, so there's still a, a lot to explore in that Jack sector, so I'm just going to fast forward. Jack would like to talk with me. What's this area of the ship? Oh, I think I must have accidentally talked to Edie my way out. What's this area of the ship? Well, Commander, that's a fucking elevator. Of course it is. God damn it. You've used it like a million times now. Alright, so Jack wants to have a word with us. This must be um, the start of her personal mission, so I'll have to see what she has to say. Uh, hello, Jack. How are you? I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'm listening. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. Um... You sure it was Cerberus? You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out... Mess with someone's head enough, and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Okay, let me talk to them. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Um, okay, that sounds cool. Let's do it. I'll set a course for Praga. I owe you, Shepard. Alright, so that's uh, Jack's personal mission. She wants to go back to uh, the facility where she was tortured as a kid and held captive, and she wants to just destroy it. That uh, sounds like therapy to me. Okay, but before we do anything else, I'm going to scan all these systems. So I'm going to fast forward. Uh, unless I find anything. Anomaly detected. Okay, so there's one here on the moon. Uh, I think it was the moon of Sitar. So it's a little bit Scott. Radiation exposure. Oh shit. Planetary scans indicate that the Sinmara colony is vulnerable to its sun's hazardous solar flares. Now, function detected in colony's magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposing colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Okay, so I'm going to rebuild the uh, magnetic shield. I can do this. I was trained for it, I think. I mean, I've read a document on it. It's like a one-page tutorial, infographic. Oh, Christ, alright. Any enemies? Lots of explosives around. 
Why would they be explosive here? Salvage that. Oh wow, there's more stations. There's somebody else doing them, or do I have to go around and do every fucking single one? Let's bypass this then. Alright, so. Grants my access. Um, control switch. Right, so it looks like I can only power one system at a time. Let's activate the shield gener generator overheating. Right, so I need to activate cooling unit first. And now let's turn the shield generator back on. And then go to the main console and bypass and turn it on. Is that it? Well, that was incredibly easy. I thought it was going to be like a puzzle. Call that a puzzle? Ha! I scoff at you. Right, so it looks like it's, it's turned into a ball instead of an actual shield. And we saved everybody. Hooray, and we got money for it. It's awesome. Commander, Morden requests to see you. Okay, so Morden wants something from us. That's cool. I oh, know we've got some resources since last time, so any upgrades I can get? No, 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 nope. Fuck. What do you want, Morden? How can I help? Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Yes, I remember. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Okay, I'll do what I can. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Oh, that's Rex. I cut that out. Okay, Erdnot. Uh, that was Rex Erdnot from Mass Effect 1, I believe. So maybe he can help us out. If he's around. Alright then. Let's. Look around the galaxy some more. Okay, it looks like there's a new system in the Hades Nexus. Uh, the Shill system. Let's have a look what's here. Just one planet. There's nothing here. Oh, there's something here. Thank God. I was about to have a fit. Like, there was nothing here. I'm pissed. Surface scans show evidence of a shipwreck meeting Quarian design specifications. The identity of the ship is unknown. Number of life signs detected in vicinity, uncertain. What? Local wildlife main sphere with accuracy of biological scan. Okay. Okay, so we're here to save Quarians. Oh god, I remember this mission from the fucking insane playthrough. And this. This. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just letting you talk. This is the hardest part of the game for my insanity playthrough. Uh, the commence pilot's record. I managed to escape the guest's notice thanks to some clever work in silencing uh, Seniard's engines. I'm going to presume Seniard is the ship that we're on. Uh, scout ship. Seniard, yes, I'm right. It says at the top. Um, but the strain on the old ship was too much. The best we can hope for is to find a friendly spot somewhere in this shield system. Our reports show that it isn't extremely likely. Uh, we were nervous scouting this close to the, the pervious veil, and we were right to be. At this point, I'm afraid we might never see the fleet again. With everything the Cinead has been through, it seems like an ignoble end. The landing was rough, but we managed to salvage from the wreck the things we need to survive. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Commander Gorlatz didn't make it leaving me the senior officer in charge. We've scoured the landscape and found the planet to be extremely hostile. We don't dare remove our environmental suits here. Um, They can't remove their suits anywhere, right? I'm pretty sure, even on like, the home ships, I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to remove their environmental suits. 
Oh. Uh, we're hoping to be rescued before there's any danger of exposure. I don't know who or what is taking them, but we've now lost more than half the crew who survived the crash. We hope to build a camp here to survive until the Idena found our beacon. Uh, but something is, ha is hunting us. I have to keep the crew together the best that I can. We will send out a search party when the day comes. I'll find my crew and we'll do whatever it takes to return to the Idena. Okay, so yeah, you can see the camp, which is in shambles. Oh, there's my shaft. And that's going to probably be platinum, considering it looks like the kryptonite we found on the planet for rats, I believe. Last episode, bending. The Decorian. Some Varen. <clears throat> uh, a living Quarian, so. I'm going to put one person there and one person there. Let's stabilize this guy. Okay, so this map, this is gonna, definitely going to be easier than my insane playthrough that I did offline. But Varen will spawn from these tunnels, and you've got to kill them before they reach the guy. There are somewhere around that corner, like that guy. If you want. Incredibly annoying. Well, this is definitely much easier on the insane playthrough. I uh, believe I could only use a pistol. At least use, only use a pistol well. So I made this whole thing harder. And had more health in a lot because it was insane. But uh, it's going quite well. Actually, easy, dangerous one. Oh, no scope! Right, it's bored because you can still get in. Did it! Are we leaving behind? We're gonna. No, oh, it's a she, she's making it on board. Cool. We did it. <laughs> wow, good job, Bioware. <laughs> That was, that was genuinely hilarious, just fucking kick it. Okay, so we found one survivor and notified of the location. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private okay, terminal. Just got a new message. And that's for the Cinead uh, from Captain Nizdmal Vas Adena. Please accept my sincere appreciation for your efforts in locating the wreckage of the Cinead. That ship has a storied history with both the Migrant Fleet and Cerberus, and we were pleased to know that her wreckage can be salvaged by my people. In finding and stabilizing Lieutenant Forzan, you have returned to the flotilla, to flotilla, one of her newest and most honored heroes. Your efforts in furthering the quarry and search for a new homeworld will be remembered. Cool. I didn't mark it as red. I'm going to do that now so I don't accidentally read it twice. Is there anything else, Kelly? Is there anything Grant I should know? seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else? Okay, so nice Grant wants to talk to us. Let's go talk to him then. I believe that'll be the start of his personal mission as well. Alright, let's have a word with him. How are you, Grant? Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to. I don't know. Uh, okay. See? Why do you. Right what's wrong? You don't know what's wrong? Okir didn't print anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Uh, let's ask the ship AI. Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. 
Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the home world, Tuchanka. Okay, let's go to Tuchanka then. That seems like a good idea. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Okay, I found that an interesting perspective. Like old Krogan going to a rage during battle. The fact that I can't control it, that worries him. Okay, so uh, let's go and start Jacob's loyalty mission because why the fuck not? Okay, so I can see there's actually a few new sectors, a few new systems. I keep like messing up the uh, definitions of these, like uh, the areas of what you call space, galaxy, sectors, and systems. I keep messing systems and sectors up, but this, this is a system, like a solar system. And there's nothing on these planets, thank you. Thank you for adding these planets, developers. I keep saying that, but there might actually be a point later on in the game, like a mission. Oh, I've never even done that area, okay. Oh, there might be a mission later on in the game, like a new planet just pops out of nowhere. Or they add a mission to a planet that already exists. And it's also just for mining resources as well. Which I still need to do. I keep forgetting to do it. I keep meaning to upgrade all my shit offline. But uh, I never do. That's just my mistake. And so. This be the last planet. Ah, oh, there is something. Job! Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so we detected that mercenary activity detected on the planet's surface. Uh, communications match Blue Sun's encoding protocols. Possible location for a rumored site of illegal archeo archaeological fucking hell. Activity Blue Sun's intentions unknown. Well, let's go find out. Miranda, you're coming with me, and you know I, I'm, ta I'm taking Kazumi for both of my playthroughs. I want to take somebody else. Let's take Morden with us. No levels up, but more than one. Let's get scientists up to the max. Uh, let's increase shield. No, weapon damage. Incinerate to the max. And he's also got cryoblast, which is also very good. So I've got heavy. Uh, you can have the blast so you can hit more people. There we go, let's start. Oh, uh, I think I changed my weapon. I don't want to be using the, the particle laser. I don't remember if I changed it or not. Well, they're nowhere here. So much for the fucking element of surprise. Alright, I'm gonna come through that door. Fuck! Time sped up just as I was about to pull the trigger. And um, that one, that was just my fault. <laughs> Christ. Uh, is, is it me? Or is time going faster when I'm scoping? Like, then more, it's going faster than usual. Because time usually slows down when I look for the scope, but it seems to have sped up just a little bit. And for some reason, uh, Commander Shepard insisted. I look for the scope as I fire my incinerate. We'll put them down. No, Miranda. My incinerate will put them down. That's so wrong. Let's get the element zero. Um. Okay, let's pick up the ammo. So Bodin actually has quite some very good abilities. That was a terrible sentence. He's got some really useful abilities. So I'll take him with me more often. 